Welcome along to round 15 of the IFR BC Championship this weekend, taking us to Japan, home to just under 40 million residents here in Tokyo City, where the drivers are preparing for the technical challenge that is the Tokyo Expressway. The monster of a track has 20 corners, 11 corners to the right, 9 corners to the left, with, an, with a tight cross front field. Get ready, go. Alright, I'm ready. I can't spectate. I can't spectate. <laughs> I'm leaving you in the game. Now we can view the action. Oh my god, they are slugging along in the wets. Track weather is climbing, it's thunderstorms. It's, I really hope there's no red flag rule if it reaches 100% because that's lame. As the weather continues to climb and climb, the technical challenge of Japan is just going to get harder and harder on these drivers. It's already a close, claustrophobic track. But with the rain, it's going to add a hint of understeer. It's going to make the it's going to make the drivers hesitate just that little bit much. And the more experienced drivers in these conditions are going to be able to persevere. AMW is making a charge after only qualifying fourth on my screen. Is fighting with Piavana at the front. Looks like Piavana is still maintaining his lead though at the front, and he will cross the the to start the second racing lap. But the Ferrari has to get back in the mix. Razor sets the fastest lap from his good position somehow, even though he's fourth. I don't know how that happened. Don't ask me. Wally Pepe has been given the instructions to not wall ride by uh, by big boy knee. He's putting his foot down after me peer pressuring for a bit. We're now on 88% track weather up from around about 60 as we saw on lap one. So in about three and a half racing laps, we've seen, oh, Piavana's found the wall. He got a little bit of wheel spin on the curb exit. These cars can, the cars, curbs can be quite slippy in the wet. Oh, Chris taking a really tight exit. That's going to hurt his exit. It's going to hurt his exit all the way down here towards the DRS straight. Less fuel loads, less weight, more. Oh, Rumza apparently. Someone's screaming Rumza. Evan is pitting apparently because they've probably got a bump. Rumza. Something happened to Rumza. I missed it. Something happened to Rumza though. Oh, Falcon's crash. Falcon's crash. Falcon's crash. Falcon's crash on the straight. Falcon's crash on the straight. Falcon is on the Falcon. Upraska. <laughs> Is that safe to go? Not safe to go. Safe to go. Not safe to go. No. Okay. Cool. Not, no safe to go. Okay. Cool. Awesome. No safety car for a car that's just slammed back in the middle of the track. Awesome. Cool. Cool stuff. But yeah, like I said, Chris now within that second, he's going to get the assistance of the DRS. Ooh, there we go. So we now have into conditions, but they won't pit yet. We still need to wait for the track weather to come down to around about 50%. So they'll be doing another lap, possibly another lap after that. Chris didn't get the assistance of the DRS down the main straight, but he's still catching quite a lot. He's hot lap. <laughs> and Piovana is standard 33 to 36. That's no, oh, you're right. Piovana did hit the wall going into turn one. Chris now trying to eye up Piovana. He's all over the rear gearbox. The Aston Martin on his screen. He'll be front and front. Oh, Razor has had another moment in the background as Bali puts in a purple first sector. He just shows his dominance and he's going to pull away a little bit like Max Verstappen in real life. AMW is struggling to find pace with these two out in front. Cyber's trying his absolute best. Cyber thinks about wall riding, but then probably thought he shouldn't. So instead, he just slammed into the wall. Someone, someone said crashed. Chris said he's crashed in the exact same spot. And that's a safety car, even though it's the same spot for some reason. And the other one wasn't a safety car. Inconsistencies in the, in the freaking safety car calling, but that's fine. I don't really care. I'm going to commentate while driving a safety car. That's going to be a body Pepe opportunity to pull out of this freaking pit stop next lap and pit onto an enter. Every driver will be coming onto an enter. Barney Pippa will be starting lap 11 of 13. There'll be three lace racing laps to go to try and defend from the pack behind. I will tell you as soon as I am in the pit lane. And to up pit lane. Go, go, go. Oh my god. I'm going to park up because I probably won't need this. And we watch Barley Pepe's restart. He's absolutely got it. Spot on. Piervan has got the assistance of the DRS powering down towards turn one. I'm going to stop talking like that. Because I can't keep that voice up. Anyway, Pivana now hopefully got a second wind. He needs to try and claim the rightful victory. He managed to put it on pole position. He managed to hold on to P1 for a little bit at the start until Bali Pepe ended up wall riding quite a lot. He needs to try and put him under pressure, try and force the mistake. Two individual mistakes. Oh, Pivana. What happened to Pivana? Spins a bit. Okay, spun a bit. 
Oh, and Bali yes, just more importantly slammed into that wall. <laughs> and Piavana on my screen now has actually got a nose wing in front of, ba of Bali Pepe. Could this be tactical? Is he backing off to try and have a late game push? Well, let's see if it was tactical or not. 9.4 fuel for Bali Pepe, 14 for Piavana. He's so overfueled. He needs to try and burn this fuel off. He puts in a second purple sector. Bali Pepe puts up puts up his first cut of the race. He's only got two when P he's only got one to use when Piavana could technically use two. I'm just saying, Piavana, if I'm your engineer, you know, just if you know where to cut, you know, you know, you know. Just cut, dude. You got two you got two cuts to use. Razor. Unmates, maybe under pressure from Romsler coming to the final Grand Prix. Cyber, maybe under pressure from Pikachu, who's had a really good race, but he's been absolutely dicked by the safety car, giving the faster drivers a better chance. But he has got the assistance of that DRS. And then there's a sudden thunderstorm change for the final lap. It will be a race for on Inters to the final line. The thunderstorm, let's see how quickly the further picks up. It's already gone up by 5% from 40 <laughs> it just continues to climb rapidly. Right now, the Inters will still be in their window. Bobby Pepe is taking over the lead again. Oh, the lead, but P makes a mistake. Hits the wall. That puts Piavana back in front. Rays is now starting to sniff blood if Bobby Pepe keeps making mistakes like this. If he keeps hitting the wall owner again, which he has just then as well, but Razor did it as well. Piavana's pulling a gap. Looks like Bali is his own demise. Raze is also making a few mistakes. If Piavana just keeps his nose clean, he might have this race victory in a bag. But with the weather falling, it's going to make driving the track even more technical. There needs to be no mistakes. If he's got CCs, he needs to use them. He needs to pull the scap to Bali Pepe. Bali Pepe will have DRS on the straight. Razor will have DRS on the straight. Romza might smell blood if any of these drivers make mistakes. So I have a, oh, Pikachu's lost his front wing. Pikachu's lost his front wing. He's lost it all. He's dropped all the way down. A and W, I think, is trying to defend from Evan. Same thing with Evan. He's overfueled. Piavana's overfueled. Just a little shaky exit. But it's the same with Piavana. Bali Pepe, I mean, they're all getting bad exits out of 18 into 19. He bumps into the wall a little bit, but it's fine. It's not wall riding. Piavana from pole position. He's going to win the IFR BC Japanese. It's all with DRS. Bali Pepe's from Oh, close. Very close, my man. If the, if the finish line was just a little bit further. But still, pole position and sprint race win for the Aston Martin driver. Piavana from the tank comes home to finish off that. He actually did manage to get Razor on the line, like I said. He smelt blood. Razor probably making a little, little few mistakes. <laughs>